Hi, I'm Brian Talley, and today I'm going to be cooking a fresh harvest dinner with kind of an Asian theme. And I'm going to be incorporating a lot of, of the items that we commonly have in the box. I'm going to start things off with some coup de thé featuring things like these uh, sugar snap peas. These are the first of the season, along with some broccoli, some celery, perhaps a few carrots. And I'm, I'm going to do kind of a sweet and sour dipping sauce for that. The main course is going to feature a barbecue, again kind of a sweet and sour uh, glaze over these uh, pork ribs, along with uh, Sarah Matthews' uh, Napa cabbage salad. And I'm going to finish the whole thing off with uh, something I've never tried before, which is a uh, tangerine sorbet. To go with this very eclectic uh, set of flavors, I've, I've chosen four different wines. I've got our dry Riesling. This is fermented in stainless steel. It's from Oliver's Vineyard, uh, the vineyard named after my grandfather. Because uh, it, this is so popular, especially with our guests coming over, this is the winery's signature wine, our estate Chardonnay. This is gonna be richer than the Riesling because it's barrel fermented in barrel age. So with the ribs, I, I've got our estate Pinot Noir, the winery's signature red wine. Um, the, the bright acidity of this wine, I think, could work very well with, uh, with the flavors that we're gonna get in this sweet and sour sauce. But uh, Cabernet Sauvignon could be a, um, a good choice as well because I'm expecting there to be more bold flavors. So I think um, by having such a diverse array of wines, uh, we're going to have a, a chance to see what really works with the flavors that we have here tonight. I've decided to start with the uh, sorbet because that's going to take the longest to, to freeze. So I'm going to need to get about a quart of uh, tangerine juice. This is a syrup that we made out of water, sugar, and honey, and I'm going to add that to the tangerine juice. We're going to chill that and then put it in the ice cream freezer. This is a wonderful salad that I'm going to make that Sarah Matthews has been making for a number of years. In fact, it's one of the most popular things that we serve at, at our uh, winery functions. It incorporates Napa cabbage, which is one of the most important crops that we grow right here in the Arroyo Grande Valley, along with cilantro and green onions. Now I'm going to stir fry these carrots, which I've already blanched. Uh, that'll feature soy sauce, some balsamic vinegar, a little bit of honey. Um, in this case, I'm substituting ground ginger for fresh ginger, since I don't have any. And then I'll finish that off with some sliced green onions. Now I'm going to make the uh, barbecue sauce, which is also going to double as the dipping sauce for the crudite. I'm going to use these Meyer lemons, some chicken broth, some honey, some tamarind sauce, some poison sauce, and finish it off with a little bit of sriracha for some kick. Now I'm going to work on a grilled broccoli recipe that I got off the New York Times website. Um, I've cut a head of broccoli into florets. Uh, I've got some kosher salt, some balsamic vinegar, soy sauce, olive oil, and then in the end, I'm gonna finish it with cilantro. I'm gonna cook all of it in this grill wok, which is one of my favorite tools because I just love to grill vegetables. I love that smoky character I get off of my barbecue pit. I'm gonna grill these ribs over some uh, coast live oak from the trees right around my house, and uh, that's gonna add a real nice smoky essence to these ribs. So as you can see, we've got our, our grill is full of ribs over on this side chicken right here and uh, everything's been seasoned with uh, salt, pepper, and garlic powder and then the final step will be for me to add that uh, sweet and sour glaze. Cheers!